Hello my friends, it's Brian here and I'm back again with another awesome video. So today guys, I'm going to show you guys how to get this Hello effect or Aureola effect or Neon light effect, anyhow you call it. Just the stuff that is hovering over her head in this video. So you notice it most painting and you know, final portrait and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to show you guys in this video is like a very beautiful um, additive to a, to a picture like if you are into fine art portraiture or any other thing that you might need to add it to now this is a very very simple um, effect to create in photoshop so it shouldn't take much of your time let's just get straight to it this is the picture that we are creating the effect on now i'm in my own person personal workspace i created a workspace and the tool that we are supposed to use for the effect isn't available here so i have to go to extra options and then select the ellipse tool remember extra ellipse tool but if you are in the essential workspace you see the tool from here it will just be here but it will show as a rectangle if you have not used it before so you just change it to ellipse tool you can either change it if you are in any other tool you can just press the shortcut u and it will switch to that so that's the very easy to achieve i'll now go back to my personal workspace and let's continue from there so after you may have um, selected the the ellipse tool as your primary tool um you need to switch your swatches so just click on d to change them to black and white and click click on x to bring the white forward or any other color you can select the color just come down to this swatches color here and click on um, the front one and pick the color that you want to use so mine is going to be white i'll click on ok um the next thing is you are going to change a couple of things here come to the pick tool mode and change it from any other thing to shape then under fill you make sure that you select this so that it won't fill the shape then under stroke make sure that you select the color that you want and then you select the size the bigger the size the the bigger the like the line of the of the walls of the effects i hope you understand that then you can come here and pick straight line instead of dotted line after you might have done all that all you have to do now is zoom in and then draw the shape so just click on any point and you see the shape come up just make it the size that you want and then release you notice based on the the size that you picked here like the pixel size it will affect the size of the shape here so after you may have done that just um come down to the fx either you click on fx or you double click on the layer both will bring up the same um will bring up the same window then the next thing you have to do is click on outer glow you see we can already see the effect here pick the color that you want so let's say i want green i'll just move this slider to green and you see the effect will change so i want something that is gold or should i say warm yeah so i'll click on i'll select that or should i select my previous color yeah click on ok and you can see the effect already now you can now the next thing you need to do is to change the blend, blend mode if it's not in screen change it to screen it will make the effect more pronounced then move your opacity you can take it to 100 reduce it but i think 50 or around 50 is a sweet spot then under element now the spread is how wide you want the the glow to be so i like go I, I i like keeping it around 40 something then the size is how big you want it to be so Depending on the look you are going for, you just has adjusted appropriately. What I'm going to do next is um, the range, you might not really... Okay, I think just manipulate that to your own satisfaction. After you might have done that, um, go to inner glow and click on it to turn it on. Then change the blend mode from normal to multiply. Choose the color that you want, you know, you can, you want, you might want to do something weird. Or, so mine is also this warm, should I call it yellow or orange, any, any color that it is and click on okay. Then um, just make the appropriate adjustment here and click on okay. 
now you notice that the effect is now here click on this layer like right click on your mouse and select convert to smart object that, that means it changes from a path to a smart object so now you can see the effect is very pronounced let's zoom back you can now transform it and play around with it to get the desired result so i'll now click on command t or Control t via on windows and then resize it so i can make it smaller i can i can rotate it as you can see here and i'll click on ok you see the effect is already nice although i need to manipulate it a little bit more to get the desired result so i'll just rotate it then i'll click on a right click and select perspective this is where i can really you know mess around with it more for it to give me the result that i want so you see it looks different now can then reduce the size and there you go you can just it's that easy so you can play around with it make the pixel size bigger and and then you get the result that you want so if you want it to look 3d all you have to do is um let me make it bigger so that the effect will be more pronounced just bring it over the person's head or any object that you're trying to um, put it around then zoom in you may not need to zoom in just click on the layer mask this button here click on the layer mask button then paint it with a black color so i'll change it to my brush tool as you can see my foreground color is black then i'll just paint it i'll make sure my flow and opacity are at 100 then i'll just erase this part and when you zoom out you notice that it has that um that 3d effect like it went around the person's head so it's that simple guys very really, it's very very easy i hope i didn't make it complex like i hope you understood it um thanks so much for watching don't forget to check out my other video on how to get all these awesome backgrounds and hit the like button if you you know enjoy the video hulk smash on that subscribe button turn on the notification and see you guys in the next one so today i'm going to show you guys how to get this hello or aurela 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 aurela